and welcome back to Chef Rose Cooking Camp. This morning I woke up and I was hungry, so I was in the mood for muffins. So I'm gonna make blueberry chamomile muffins today. Now I'm only using chamomile because I have so many of them growing in my garden that I had to do something with them. So I dried them and powdered them and used them as a spice in my muffin. If you don't have chamomile, you can substitute any spice you like. If you don't like blueberries, you can pick a different fruit. Do you want apples? Do you want strawberries? Do you want pears? That's fine. You just want to make sure that they're all cut to a really small size. So, what I have here in my bowl, this is, this is all power sugar, my chamomile, brown sugar, and salt. I also need to add the baking powder, but I want to show you a little trick. Most baking powders have a lid like this that has a flat side because do you remember how we measured dry ingredients in the measuring cup? We're going to do the same thing with a measuring spoon. So you scoop too much in there and then you use the flat side just to level it off. Okay? So I'm going to put that in there. So sugar, spices, brown sugar, baking powder and salt all in there and I'm going to use a whisk to get it all mixed up really, really well. A whisk works best here because it'll help break up all those lumps of brown sugar and make sure everything gets mixed together really, really well. Basic rule of baking. You mix all the dry stuff together, then you mix all the wet stuff together, then you mix the two together. Now I'm going to mix my wet ingredients. Got milk and vanilla in here. I'm going to add my egg. And I've had butter that I've melted and cooled. What I have found is that you need to have your butter at about room temperature and your milk and your eggs at about room temperature or your melted butter is just gonna clump right back up. So if your milk and egg are cold, then what I do is I mix these two together and dump them in and start mixing and then I add the butter. But if they're all room temperature, it should mix together just fine without clumping back up. Okay, so I'm going to whisk those together too. Once I've got all my wet ingredients together and all my dry ingredients together, now I'm going to get rid of this whisk. This whisk, if we try and mix the batter together, will get all clumped and caught in that ball and then it'll be gross and we don't like gross and it'll also be hard to get out. So we're going to take the wet ingredients and pour them right into the dry ingredients. And I'm going to stir it just until it comes together. You don't want to mix these too much. If you mix these too much, then you're going to have a tough, chewy uh, muffin. And if you have a tough, chewy muffin, it's just going to be like bubble gum with muffin flavor, and that's no good for me. Okay, so you see how I've got this all just barely mixed. So now I'm going to add my blueberries. And I'm going to add my lemon zest. If you don't know how to zest a lemon, I do have a video on my page that can show you exactly how to do it so that you won't cut yourself. Now I'm going to very, very gently mix. I've got to be very gentle here because I don't want to break the blueberries. If I break the blueberries, my muffins will turn a weird gray color and that's just not very appealing. Okay, so once you've got these mixed in, now we're going to be ready to bake them. Okay, so set this to the side and we're going to get our pan that we're going to bake in. If you have little paper liners to put in there just like cupcakes, those are great. If you don't, then make sure you either spray or butter it really, really well. I have really neat pans that have a non-stick coating to them, so I don't have to do any of that stuff. But make sure that if you don't have these same pans that you do the or else the muffins won't come out, okay? So now we're going to take our muffin batter and we're gonna scoop it right in there. If you don't have one of these cool scoops, then you can just use a spoon or measuring cup or something like that to move that over to here. But you never wanna fill it too full. Notice that I'm starting in the center. Now it's just two of us here, so I did a half of a recipe. But if you do a full recipe, you're going to need more of the pan. I just did a half recipe, but you want to start in the center because they start to overbake on the edges. So start in the center and then you go to these 
And then these last four are the last ones you do. Okay, my muffin tin is full. You'll see that there's only six muffins in here, but I did a half a recipe, which means a full recipe will make 12 muffins. So you only need one pan. But notice I didn't fill them all the way to the top. If I do that, then they do something called mushrooming, where they come out and they spread out over the top and they look kind of like a mushroom, okay? So we're gonna take these, we're gonna put them into our preheated oven. I've got it at 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake them until they are nice and brown. If you wanted to put streusel or something like that on top, you can absolutely do that. That makes these muffins really, really delicious. But you don't have to if you don't want to make the streusel. Oh, those look so beautiful. Look how nice and golden brown they are. They are ready to come out of the oven. Now that our muffins are out of the oven, they're brown, they're beautiful, and you want to eat them so, so bad, but the best... Now our muffins are out of the oven and I know they look brown and delicious and so beautiful and you wanna eat them right away. But the most important thing that we can do is let them cool for 10 minutes, okay? If you don't let them cool for 10 minutes, number one, they're gonna fall apart as you try and pull them out. Number two, they're gonna be so hot that you're gonna burn your tongue. And it just works better. You've gotta let something called carryover cooking happen. They have to finish baking here in the pan. You want to try and put them on a cooling rack or something like that. Even I have them just lifted up a little bit above the counter so that some air gets underneath them so that they cool evenly. But once you let them sit in there for 10 minutes, you can pop them out and eat them, slather them with some butter, and enjoy those muffins.